<laughs> hey everyone, I am sorry about being late. This is my first country science. Blood is not blue. Look who I have with me. Megan. Okay, so let's do this hot mess science. All right, so Megan's going to uh, video. All right, that's a little hard. Get in here so I look smaller. Okay, all right, so here we go. We have three different cups. And in them, each one of them is filled with a liquid, okay? So this one right here has pigtails and a happy face. Here, move it in so they can see. This one has a mullet, all business in the front, party in the back, okay? And this one right here has just long hair bangs, okay? Like a lot of bangs, tall head. Okay, so each one of these are filled with a liquid. And I'm gonna drink from these straws and I want you to guess what color the liquid is, okay? So today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about um, the circulatory system, we're gonna be talking about blood, we're gonna be talking about some elements that are found in blood. Okay, so here we go. Get where you can see, all right. Sorry about being late, I taught a lesson this morning let me shut the door. Okay, so here we go. What color do you think this liquid is? All right, again. All right, one more time. Up close, Megan. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, so there's your first one. So that's the pigtails. Okay, next one. Here we go, this is the mullet guy. All right, here we go, guess what color this is. Okay, another time. There you go, so that's the mullet. Now then, you're gonna have to guess what color this one is. Okay, I actually drank something from there, you don't know, there, here we go, again. And this one is the girl with a whole bunch of bangs. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. Okay, so before we begin, I have a question. So here's the real question. Oh, hopefully, ooh, I don't know if it, I think it's gonna be backwards, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so real question, it says, well, who is stronger, Iron Man or a female, <laughs> okay? So Iron Man or a female, we'll work on this so you're not having to read backwards, okay? Iron Man or a female, who is stronger? So make your guesses, okay? Now then, let's talk about what iron is, and then I'm gonna introduce another element. So iron has a symbol, here, get a little closer, Megan, so they can read this backwards. Oh, you know what we could do? Flip the camera around. Oh, we could do backwards and upside down, no. <laughs> All right. Iron is F-E, copper, C-U, okay? So here is the answer to your question, okay? So who is stronger, Iron Man or a female? We'll check this out. Iron Man is equal to a female, okay? F-E for iron, so female is equal to Iron Man. So now we know if you were wondering who's stronger between Iron Man and female. Okay, so today's lesson was about the color of blood and me saying that it's not blue. Okay, so we're gonna go back through these right here. I had three different containers. One of, one of the containers had pigtails, one container had a mullet, there's the party in the back, and then one container had a whole bunch of bangs. And then I drank from each one of these straws, so had to guess that color, had to guess this color of liquid, let me move my hand. And then you had to guess the mystery, okay? All right, there's the three different cups of liquid in there that you do not know. Okay, so let's go through a few things. Commonly, you see this diagram for the circulatory system. And bring it up a little bit closer, Megan. Woo, okay. So you see how everything is in blue and red. Okay, now then, 
usually a lot of I've actually seen this printed in books before okay so back it up so they don't think that's them and give me a little hype okay um a lot of times you will see dick uh in diagrams that blood that is going back to the heart that is deoxygenated is blue and then whenever it's in the heart it ends up or well, goes to the lungs and then it picks up oxygen and becomes red so this right here is a very common diagram so what this has done though is a lot of people including teachers have gotten it where they think that blood is blue okay so that means um every time your heart beats it makes two sounds boom 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 okay the first beat is a little bit softer and then the second beats a little bit stronger okay so the first beat blood goes into the heart and then the first beat is it gets sent to the lungs okay from there it is going to get rid of carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen so that right there is where people have gotten to the misconception thinking that um, like there's this magical color change that happens there okay whenever as soon as that carbon dioxide leaves and the oxygen's picked up they think the blood goes from blue to red okay so that's incorrect um, then remember how I told you the heartbeat is one two one two okay so then um, after the blood goes to the lungs it comes back into the heart and then that second boom is whenever the heart is pushing the blood hard enough to go to all of your extremities from your rooter to your tutor because this is called country science from your fingertips to your finger toes or finger toes to your toenails okay so one two two beats to that heartbeat okay so let's look at so we have yet to convince you that blood is not blue okay so let's talk about you remember how we asked full ago about iron man and who's stronger a female or iron man bring it in megan and we decided that iron man and a female is the same so iron is one of the main components of your blood okay if you do not have enough iron then you actually Will become like tired and because all of your cells are needing to have oxygen okay Megan you got this like below me can you raise it up okay yes all right I feel like I was having the squat okay so whenever iron uh, if you don't have enough iron you're it's a, you're anemic okay because you need iron to combine with oxygen uh, to take it to all of your cells okay so whenever iron combines with oxygen Anybody know what that is called? Whenever it oxidizes, oxidized iron has another name of rust. So here is some rust for you. That is some iron, iron oxide, okay? Iron oxide, iron that has been exposed to oxygen becomes a red color, okay? Just as your blood that is combined with oxygen um, is also red. Okay, so let's go into what metal do you know of whenever it combines with oxygen makes it be blue? Okay, so let's think about that for a second. Where have you seen metal that turns like a blue green whenever it is combined with oxygen? Okay. And I know you don't have time to like wait. Okay, so here, here is a picture of some metal that has combined with um, oxygen. Oh yeah, oh man, dang it. Okay, and it turned to blue. You could also maybe go look at the Statue of Liberty, okay? So this right here, the, the metal that this is made out of is copper okay well everybody knows that the human body is it we're always talking about iron levels and uh so i mean like you're always eating iron fortified foods um you have like a ton of iron if you don't have enough iron in your body then you're anemic okay so check this out this is the real color of 
oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. Okay, they're both red. One is darker. Okay, so let's talk about why uh, the blood that is deoxygenated is darker. Because you already know the answer, even though you might not know that you know the answer, you do know it. Okay, even David got it a while ago, and he is like the most non-science person in the world. Okay, so let's talk about oxygen, okay? So here, oxygen is O2. That looks like a six in your thing because that's flipped around. We'll get that fixed. So oxygen is a, uh, what, um, it's an element that has to um, have two of them at all times. So oxygen here, and we have two oxygen atoms combined to make a molecule of O2, oxygen. Okay. Now then, let's look at carbon dioxide. So car for something, for blood to be deoxygenated, that means that it doesn't have O2 in it. It is filled with CO2. So if you notice right here, CO2, carbon dioxide, you have a carbon um, atom and then you have two of oxygen, so you have CO2. So just based on something being CO2 and something being O2, what's the difference in these? And we're looking for the very common answer. The very easy answer is the C. Okay, C is for carbon. Now then, what color is carbon? So think about this, my trail riders and my campers and my people that like to cook outside, what color is carbon? Okay, pure carbon, like you could be charcoal, okay? So let's look at these two things again. Knowing now that carbon is dark, pure carbon's dark, well, unless it goes under a lot of pressure and then you're gonna end up with diamonds. Okay, so from right here, we have oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. Okay, so deoxygenated blood is much darker. This is where people have thought that it was blue. So they think that all the time, like, like your body has enough time to be like, I'm gonna go blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, like all the time back and forth, no. It's carrying, the iron is carrying the carbon dioxide. It goes um, to your heart, it goes to your lungs from there. It switches out that carbon dioxide for oxygen and it's gonna lose that dark color because it's losing the carbon dioxide and picking up O2, which is oxygen. So it's a lot lighter color. Okay, so now then there are animals I have printouts for you I prepared for this I do apologize about being late there are animals that have blue blood remember because they would have to be uh, copper based okay so from right here anybody want to guess what and I'm going to show you a picture of an animal and they're actually um, collecting a blood sample out of it because it's needed um, there is an animal that has blue blood because they are, uh, their hemoglobin is uh, copper based instead of iron based. Bum, bum, bum. The horseshoe crab. All right, so come on up. All right, okay. This is like the most crooked come up ever, Megan. Oh my gosh, get, ah, okay. So the horseshoe crab is not it does still have iron but it has primarily copper okay so now then at the beginning of the lesson whenever i was like i probably got a lot of people out there like girl my blood is blue you see that blue right there that's my blood and it's blue no you're looking at something else okay you are looking at basically the straw okay like these are your straws these are your, your vessels, okay? Your veins, your capillaries. They're the things that are holding the blood. So, you know, between, there's been people that said, oh, there, there was even a TV show called Blue Bloods. Well, that right there was about royalty. And then, it's, uh, and then they had another show, I think it was close to that same name. And it was about uh, police officers and uh, 
and being blue, but there, there's more of a, uh, just a, a color, you know, like a, a group that's coming together. So people are viewing that as evidence. And then seeing this diagram your whole freaking life of, of blood going to your heart being blue and then whenever it exits, it's red. You know, it would have been a lot cooler if whenever people were making these diagrams, Megan, if you don't get that above my chin, you see this? That's kind of <laughs> me, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dead leg her after this is over with. Uh, it would have been a lot cooler if they used pink and like lime green or something, so then people would never get it confused, okay? But having the whole blue and red, and then, you know, educated people are seeing these diagrams and they're having to put together lessons and stuff and it's just become like um, a common misconception. Okay, so earlier we started looking at this right here and I had three cups, you don't know, with liquid in them and I'm like, what color? So this one, that looks maybe pink, maybe an orange. What color is that liquid? Now, this is some low-budget science going on, right? Like, I drew y'all a cute face on here and everything on my red Solo cup. And then got some aluminum foil, which I will recycle. But look at this liquid. Is that purple? Is it black? Do you know? So, here we go. We're going to do the big reveal. Bum, bum, bum. I see a lot of people are watching. If anybody has any questions... I would love to answer them. You know, I haven't taught science in like four years, so I would love to be put on the, put up in front of everybody and not know the answer, because I actually study. All right, try not to get liquid everywhere. Okay, so here we go. All right, Megan, can you go on top? All of them are the exact same color, okay? So, remember whenever I was drinking from this straw, it looked like it was a darker color? Well, this is equal to having a, a vein in your hand. So, everybody that is telling you that this right here is proof that they have blue blood, that is, um, that's incorrect. And you, you know it's incorrect, but you don't, haven't quite thought about it because... Um, if you've ever had to get a shot in the hospital or something, they've always got to find a vein, right? It's not just random blood in your, in your hand. If you had random blood in your hand, you'd have a bruise. So that is the vessel, okay? All right, I know, mine's blown. Okay, so I'm going to start doing these science lessons every day. Uh, let me see if I've covered all of my handouts. Um, that is still really cool that horseshoe crabs have blue blood so it does exist just not for us humans if we if you if your blood was not red then um that would mean you are so anemic like you could die if you were if you didn't have any iron in your blood so there is deoxygenated blood and there is oxygenated blood so let's return to this for just a second okay remember that there was co2 versus O2, right? So here's your oxygenated blood, your deoxygenated, so they could have actually called that your carbon dioxide blood. Um, <coughs> let's talk about which one's going to be maybe a little bit more gelatinous, which that's like a real sexy word to be talking about with blood. Which one do you think is going to be just a little bit heavier, thicker? And it's going to be this one because it's got that extra carbon in there. It's got enough carbon to make it look darker. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker. So, let me see here. I do believe this is the conclusion of country science. Blood is not blue, but now we know that it is if you're a horseshoe crab. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna to be talking about blood types, and then I'll probably get into maybe some water cycle and some rocks. I've got all sorts of science knowledge to share with you. All right, so thank you for tuning in, and all right, remember, uh, country science is the best.